so I've just arrived in uh, Hakata Station in Fukuoka. Um, it's actually quite a pretty station. I'm about to experience my first taste of freedom in Fukuoka. Um, I came here by myself. Nobody's meeting me at the station or anything, so now I'm going to go to a hostel. And then after that, I don't know, I'm just going to tool around, I guess. of Hakata Station and um, there's a really awesome view here. I'm not sure if Japanese people know how spoiled they are by all these awesome views but uh, there's a lot of buildings and cities in Japan where you can get on the roof and at least in my experience that's very difficult to do in the States. I love going to roofs so uh, bear with me here with the roof footage. <laughs> I'm sore. Nice to meet you. I'm Amy, nice to meet you. How do you remember? So I just arrived at my uh, hostel in Fukuoka and I met these nice people. And we're gonna go out and get some delicious Fukuoka ramen. So he just asked how to get to uh, Canal City and the woman went to great lengths uh, describing how to get there and then she turned back and ran up to us and because she forgot to tell him where to park his bike and so right now she's escorting him to the biking to the bike parking area so nice so nice So I am in Ramen Stadium where uh, many ramen stores, how many ramen stores here? Eight? Eight ramen stores from around the country have uh, concentrated here to compete and it's a tourist attraction and I'm sure all this ramen is delicious. I wish I could eat here eight times. So basically you go up to these machines and you make your order and you, uh, you pay by the machine and you go and give the ticket and you eat some ramen. You know it's good ramen if you drink all the broth. <laughs> what do you think? Nice. Very sweet. Very sweet.
now it's time to leave uh, to my friend's house. But it was not only my first time in Fukuoka, it was also my first time in a hostel. And I really, I really, really enjoyed it. It was really cheap. The accommodations were all really great. I didn't have a problem about anything. Actually, the beds were better than the one in my apartment. And that's because a lot of Japanese apartments don't actually have beds. They come with uh, futons instead, which are essentially just really thin, fluffy, not really that fluffy sheets. The staff was all really nice. I was actually invited to eat dinner with them two nights in a row, which uh, I'm told is unheard of in a hostel. But uh, yeah, it was really cool. I got to try some new foods. But despite all that, there's one really hard thing about going to hostels, and that is that you meet a lot of really cool people that you're likely to never see again, and definitely not ever going to see again all together all at once. A lot of the people are foreigners like myself on short trips, and it's just really sad. But yeah, I'm going to meet up with a friend now, and I'm looking forward to the New Year's and the future. In other news, it's snowing now. This is not what I came to Fukuoka for. I thought it would be one of the warmest cities in Japan. And I guess it is, but nonetheless, it's, it's snowing. So hey guys, that was the re-upload of the first installation of my Kyushu video. Uh, it had to be re-uploaded due to a music issue which blocked it in some countries, so... Um, I want to take this chance to address a couple things. First of all, in retrospect, the ending to the original video, which you guys just saw, uh, it's a little sad. There's a happy ending, and I want to tell you guys a little bit about that. So, two of the people I met at that hostel, I actually ended up going on separate trips with more than once. And now I'm really good friends with two of them. The first one is named Kana, and the second one is named Masa. Actually, since uploading my Kyushu video, I've taken a trip with each of them and uploaded a video of that trip. So I just wanted to include the links to those. Um, the trip with Kana, you can see here, we took a trip to a snowy mountain called Tateyama and uh, played around in the snow and some other shenanigans. And then the trip I took with Masa, you can see right here, we took to a mountain town called Takayama in the smack dab middle of Japan, ate some good food and saw a parade. Uh, you can check that out. And then the last video I want to link is just the second part of the Kyushu, uh, a Kyushu word bound part two. So um, check that out for the conclusion. Just kind of wanted to share with you guys that I actually did see these people again. And uh, we had some great trips throughout Japan. And even with Kanda, I went to Taiwan, which I want to document in a later video. I still am backed up with tons of footage. But um, yeah, check those out. See you guys next time.